and mm-hmm. she's in uh, Matumbo currently. Okay. Studying right. IT a little bit. All right. So, so, so how does how does IT get along with music? I mean, I mean, you're supposed <laughs> to be doing music or something like that because you're actually good at it. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Why did you choose IT? Oh, uh, well, it's a family thing. Oh, yeah. it was I not see. actually my choice, but it's a family thing. Oh, yeah. okay. So you, you mean like you mean like the whole family thing? No, uh-huh. and, and they do IT. They do IT. Yeah. Okay, but then so they don't sing. Yeah. And then you just. I'm the only one. So how did you choose? Could you or could I just be in that job? Like it was always me since okay. uh, high school. All right. Yeah. So even I was not allowed. To sing. Ah, <laughs> why? Your parents didn't want you to yeah, sing. Yeah, I know, that. I know. You know, like I know a lot of people have got this thing about music, but I don't go to our music, you know, cheeky. But then, I mean, we're seeing big people, you know, going big with music at the end of the day. Yeah. But um, I just think it is when people have got you that talent at the end of the day, yeah. you know, for because when you do something that you love and something that you're good at, you yeah. know, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah. So anyway, um, I'll definitely ask you about this song called Bambe Lela. Uh, tell me who produced the song and who did you feature on this song? Well, um, a guy called Emoji. Okay, he's the one who produced the song. Yeah, All right. he's the one who produced the song. Okay. And I featured with uh, Slow Ben. Slow Ben from? Yeah, from Jusharani. From Jusharani. Yes. Okay, all right. But this is a nice gem though. How did you guys come about to, uh, uh, to create something, I mean, a piece of art like this one? It's actually good. Okay. Um, it's like, I'm not a developed person. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah. So, so how did the Bambe Lela come, you know? Bambe Lela! How did it come about? Well, I just thought that uh, I should just try something new. Okay. With a different language. All right. So, I looked for someone to translate my okay. lyrics into right. the language. All right. Yeah. All right. So, how, um, um, okay. So, who helped you write the lyrics of the song? Uh, a, a guy called Tanya. All right. Yeah. All right. So generally, your music. Yes. Um. Do you write for yourself, or do you have somebody who writes for you? I always write for myself. Okay. <laughs> okay. So how do you create my my, my lyrics? Generally, we don't go talk about talk about that. All right. Fine. Imagine, imagine the dog talk about talk about him, but something. But my lyrics are not noisy. Ah, sometimes I write about the reality of what's happening in my life. Okay. Sometimes I just wake up and just start. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Of something to write, then uh-huh. I just get into it. Ah, that's yeah. nice. That's nice. So, what does Bambelela mean anyway? Like we are going. We are oh. not stopping. We are not going back. Oh, we are going right. forward. Yeah. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm liking where this one is going. You know. So, uh, tell me, um, 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 in, do you have albums or are you just releasing my singles? Uh, I've got an album for the Ken, which I did in 2018. That was my first album. Oh, okay. Yeah. When, when did you start making the Ken? 2018. 2018. Yeah. That's when you released an album. Yes. Okay. What 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 type of what type of I mean what genre were you? What was that album? Mm, it was a mix of R and B and Afro pop. And Afro pop. Yeah. So why did you choose Afro pop? And now there's like a bit of piano though. Why did you yeah. choose Sungura <laughs> or Zim Dance or, or something like that? I mean I just want to understand. Uh, I'm mean, not able to handle it. <laughs> I can't handle Sungura, I can't handle Zim Dance. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's only but you want to tell me what type of music do you, do you listen to? I mean, besides listening to your own type. Uh, I listen to all genres. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh. Uh, except Sungura. <laughs> ah man, why don't you listen to Sungura uh, though? I don't like Sungura. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? I just don't like it. But you know, music, <laughs> let me tell you about music. I, I used not to like Sungura as well. Okay. But, you know, like when I became a radio person, yeah. you know, because, you know, as a radio person, you're not supposed to choose. Because somewhere, somewhere, so in for me, and I'm also not, I'm not a mixed of the thing, you know, like I'm not, I, I no longer have a, a, a certain type of music. I don't really, I don't go tell you. I think I listen to everything. But for the sake of art, yeah. it's not bad to also listen to Sungura. I mean, I'm not a fan of Sungura, mm-hmm. but no matter for the sake of understanding art, because art comes into so many <laughs> different ways at the end yeah. of the day, you yeah. know, that. So yeah, for the sake of art. Okay, so before we talk about anything more, because I think we have um, a little limited time, but of course, before we talk yeah. about anything more, I'm going to play a track. Um, uh, this one is called Tend It, Tend It. Can you tell me a little bit about the song before I play? Uh, there's this guy who's um, really good in dancing. Okay. So I was just appreciative of his oh, talent. Okay. 
tende tende. Yeah. As as I I tamba tende tende. Not really. Uh, uh, not really. Oh. Yeah. All right. Okay. So so when did you release this track? Uh, I haven't released it yet. Oh, so yeah. it's exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Exclusive. Like limited. Okay. <laughs> wow. 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 You know, like it's funny because I actually thought because this tricks are out. No, so no, when no, when no. when when are you looking forward to doing to release this track? Uh, I think by next week. I'm working on a video. Oh. Okay. Who does videos for you? Because I was looking at the video of Mwenje. Actually, congratulations. Mwenje was on top twenty today. Yeah. Oh, thank so you. congratulations <laughs> for that one. Uh but uh of course who who does videos for you? Uh sometimes it's seen. Okay. Um, yeah, because I, I sometimes go there. Okay. Yeah. And which producers have you worked with before? I mean so far. So anyway, far, okay. um I've worked with MOD, Master Flex. Okay. Uh currently I'm working with Root Boy. All That's right. where I'm signed. All right. Um yeah. All right, all right. Also, you are signed under under what record label? It's called Power Circle Entertainment. Power Circle Entertainment. Yes. How many how many artists are in that uh, in that in that in that uh, record label? Mm, I think there are about fifteen or sixteen. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. So tell me about I mean financially, how do you manage? Because I know videos are very expensive and yeah. uh, they require a lot of work. How do you manage those things? And time you're at school. You're trying yeah. to balance the two. How do you do that? I mean, financially. Financially, mm. uh, sometimes I, I do advertising for okay. for them. All right. Okay. Like sing about their brand, and they give me the package. Yeah, I think them artists are going to stay so no no at the end of the day because you know a lot of artists they're busy complaining. I know it's not easy to acquire my fans. I know it's not yeah. easy to you can be able to make a video of your own and stuff like oh. that. But then most artists are always complaining, go to them as sponsor, to them as sponsor. But then how do you get sponsors? And I'm quite happy about what you said because it's very eye opening at the end of the day. Because when you're talking to you tell them no, at the end of the day you can actually sing about a certain brand and they can help you sponsor that video at the end of the day. I think that is very, very um, uh, important, you know, for every artist to, 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 to do that. But of course, I think I'm talking a lot now because I'm always talking a lot. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, let me drop you a track coming through from uh, Scarlet Rose. Remember, we are with Scarlet Rose, Monomo Studio, by Evo FM, 100.2 FM. Remember, this is your uncle, Carl, and of course, you know, there's no subject for quality. The Umjolo King Pajabulani show on a Saturday. And of course, our time is 16 minutes uh, uh, before 2. So, of course, I'm just giving you tracks from uh, Scarlet Rose. For those who want to know more about Scarlet Rose and Nitega, come through Move Mango to that. What do you think about Scarlet Rose and Nitega right about now? Dear and Trick and the player, not Bambelela. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, you, I'm sure, I'm sure I have the voice to do that. I mean, am I doing it well? Like, yeah, yeah, do it. Do you think I have, I have what it takes, you know, to be a singer? Bambelela. What's the take on that? This is the guy what it takes. And yeah, I, you got it. <laughs> don't in your bed. Don't in your bed. Don't in your bed. Anyway, I'm going to introduce you to the track uh, from Scarlet Rose. This one is called Tende Tende. And like she said, and these tracks are not yet released. And uh, she's working on my videos. And I think I have a So these tracks are going to be around next week. That's what she said. So right about now, I'm going to drop this one called um, uh, Tende Tende. And I hope that uh, you get to... Uh, to enjoy it. Enjoy this one right about now. Fatty, we don't quit.